The MGA's new portal offers three main online services. New license application, company seal URL request, monthly players liabilities and tax report. The user is encouraged to go through the system documentation checklist for an understanding of the documentation which needs to be submitted with the application. New license application. The application has eight steps. Each step has its own mandatory fields. Step 1. The company name. The system enables the user to either create a new company or select a registered company for which the user has an approver or contributor permission for. The portal enables the user to link documentation from any previous applications submitted online which have remained unchanged. Step 2. Registration for the type of license. A license class needs to be selected. The next step is to fill in the entity declaration form, which is further split into a four-stage process. Input details related to entity, litigation, directorships and business affiliations, and financial details. All individuals mentioned in the decision-making, directing or beneficial owner roles will need to fill in a personal declaration form. The personal declaration form includes information related to personal details, passport and residence, arrests, detentions and litigation, employment, directorships and business affiliations, bank references, designated employees, financial details and PEP details. The user needs to provide information relative to brand name, representative contact person, financial management, as well as licensing and operating history, if any. Before submitting the application, it is important that the user attaches all documentation relevant to the application. Upon successful submission, a series of internal workflows within the licensee's relation management system are triggered, including stakeholder onboarding, documentation reviews and auditing processes. At this point, both the MGA and the registered gaming operators can track the status of the application via the portal's interactive dashboard, providing greater transparency on the real-time status of the application. Every remote gaming operator needs to request a dynamic seal of authorization, which can now be done via the web portal. To submit a request, the operator needs to enter the company name, the language in which the URL should be written, and the email address where the details of the guidelines on how to implement the dynamic seal should be sent. Following this, an email will be sent by MGA including a customizable MGA logo, MGA logo guidelines and the hyperlink of the seal hosted on the MGA servers. One of the aims of the web portal is to facilitate the submission of information requested by the authority. The monthly player's liabilities and tax report needs to be submitted on a monthly basis. Through this system, the user will create the first report as the subsequent month reports will be automatically populated. These will be listed in the timeline bar and shown in orange as pending submission. A user who manages multiple companies will have one activity which links all companies together. The report's main items include liabilities, client accounts, dormant accounts and revenue or tax declarations. The tax due to the authority is automatically calculated for each license and any pending tax declarations associated to each license will be listed. Yeah.